Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your boy Smokestay here, back at you with another video. And today we are on Kel's new track, 602 Raceway, for the man Exhibit. Now, shout out to OG Steezus and the man Saucy, both co-founders of SSR. I appreciate y'all allowing me on the team. And this bike paint is absolutely amazing. It's by Prestige, and it's the military KTM bike paint. It's phenomenal. Also, shout out to RC Designs for the gear, man. If you want the chain, become a member. Let's get into this track. All right, so now we're up on the track, man. Now, I did a couple laps before recording this video. I freaking love that sign. I was trying to get a sign just like that for mine, but I ended up settling for the, like, start gate thing that I made. Um, but I wanted something... Oh, look at that scrub. Um, I wanted something like that for my track, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to uh, try to create something like that for my next track, something smaller. I, I absolutely love that. But um, now this track is absolutely phenomenal. It flows so well. And there are, so it's a sand track, but like certain parts of it don't feel like, like sand. You know what I'm saying? Like in my ear when I'm listening, certain parts you can definitely hear the sand sound. And then other parts you don't hear it. And it feels like you're moving a little quicker. You know what I mean? So I wonder if it's like Apache sand. Um, something like that. Because... I don't know. I just maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I am. If, exhibit. If you're watching this, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's like patchy sand, which is absolutely am amazing because there's so much different elevation on this track that some of the parts where I noticed it wasn't sand were like going up the steep hills. You know what I'm saying? So that is definitely a plus because it's going to allow you to keep your traction and your momentum better. Because I'll tell you what, with sand tracks, you know, you do get a lot more front tucks than your average dirt especially with the beta update but nonetheless this track is absolutely amazing bro and in my opinion this is kel's best track that he's created um i i, I just love it man i love the flow it has it has a lot of jumps that are really peaky and you get some nice whips on and just the differences and elevation i just think that this track is gonna really ride well you know what i'm saying in a race and like don't get me wrong fox raceway um una unadilla unadilla <laughs> if you know you know you know what i'm saying um those tracks are amazing you know what i'm saying uh same way as uh e street and stuff like that but just the entire this track like as a whole from visuals to the writing to how i think it will race this is the best track that he's made and like i said in my opinion so um you guys let me know in the comments what you think if you've ridden it don't just watch the video and comment because you can watch a video and not know how the track actually rides if you ain't the one riding it you know what i'm saying so only comment if you're the if you've ridden it let me know if you think it's his best because in my opinion i think it is but that's just me now this track comes out today on the mx bike shop i believe uh exhibit said it will be a dollar fifty it's absolutely worth a dollar fifty so you got to go get this, man. Now, I actually, um, we have a giveaway live right now for Steel Titty by Kevin Fuela. But as soon as that one's done, I'm going to put up another giveaway for this track. And I think the, what is it? I think Steel Titty giveaway ends tomorrow. It might end today. If it ends today, then I will put a giveaway up for this track starting Monday. That ends Thursday. So if you're not a part of the Discord, make sure you guys go join the Discord. That way you guys can get into that giveaway. But, I mean, the track's amazing. It rides absolutely... It just flows so well, you know what I'm saying? And all of the uh, corners have multiple line choices in them. And you can get some serious speed going through here, man. Now, in the laps I was riding prior to recording the video, I recorded a 157. And then... I did two laps before starting recording um, in this session, and 158 was my fastest, which is probably nowhere near what other people will get, but look at that, man. You can scrub the living hell out of that jump right there. 
but I think that a lot of you guys will get faster than a 158, faster than a 157. That's no problem. But I felt like it was pretty fast for me. You know what I mean? So now I did not. I, I was nervous yesterday because I thought that I missed the. Um, I thought I missed the the outdoor races, but it turns out they're taking a two week break. So that just goes to show you how much I am not paying attention. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that, man. I did not know they were taking a break. So I'm assuming because of that, we won't have an ARL outdoor track for, I believe, three weeks, right? Because they're waiting a week after to release it. No, they just released Washougal. So it'll only be two weeks still. Um, unless my information was wrong. Maybe it's only a week break. But I, I, do, I did hear it was a two-week break. So we'll have, to, we'll have to see how that's going. I don't know. Um... I know, I thought we already took the break. I didn't know we took more than one break each season, so that's kind of crazy. But now this section right here, coming through here, bro, sticking to the inside is probably your best bet because I, I, I stuck to the inside for the first couple laps and then I kept drifting to the outside. But the reason why I say the inside is because if you ride that inside, then you can get the inside of the uphill right here. And the uphills, man, the elevation on this, that's one of the things I love about this track the most is the elevation changes you know what i mean the elevation is absolutely amazing those signs just blown up on the side like at the top of the hill are absolutely awesome bro i just love the whole vibe of this track it just rides amazing looks amazing everything man it's awesome absolutely awesome Shout out to Exhibit also. I didn't even think about that until just now. Shout out to Exhibit for letting me get this track early to do a video on. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I wasn't expecting it at all. So I was actually wondering, what, what, what am I going to do for this video tomorrow? And then he hit me up. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I got. Oh, I'm telling you, man, there's been a lot of front tucks for me on here. I'm surprised I haven't crashed yet because I had, I've had quite a bit of front tucks. Like in the first 10 laps I spent on this track prior to recording, I was tucking the front so much just because of the sand. And I don't know if that's because of the new beta or what. It's probably a skill issue, but ever since the new beta, I've just been tucking the front so much. And it sucks because right before the beta was updated, I had all of that figured out like i had been front oh my gosh we got backwards right there i had all of the front tucks figured out because i was tucking the front left and right for months noswad was giving me crap about it and everything and i finally got it under control and then they released the beta and now we're back to front tuck city and um the 90 front tire helps me out but it doesn't fix it you know what i'm saying so i still have a lot of issues with the front tucking and I do feel like it's worse in sand. So I, I I don't know, man. I It's weird, too, because with the new beta with the bikes, if they feel like they just push through the corner. You know what I mean? Oh, there we go. Now we crashed and we front tucked. But the bikes just feel like they kind of push through the corner to where you're not able to turn as sharp right away. I, I think that's my biggest complaint about beta 19. And I wonder if that's going to be fixed with the new OEMs with the rear wheel having the um the ability to slide you know what i'm saying i think that's why they set it up the way they did but it sucks because we're not getting the new beta update on the oems until after motocross so we're gonna be waiting some months for that even you know what i mean also i think that the super uh what is it the super motocross playoffs when they have the like the mixture tracks that's gonna be absolutely crazy to ride on man and i i wish they would release the betas before the end of motocross i know they don't want to because of like the points and everything like that but i really wish they would because i just think that it would help the game you know what i mean especially for people like me that suck <laughs> i just i need it i need the beta bro give us the beta and then just let all the people that are racing keep beta 18 oems until the end of the season you know what i mean let them keep their bikes and let us casual players get the new betas <laughs> not gonna happen but i'm just saying i'm just saying you know you never know it's worth a shot but but yes this is 602 raceway by the mankells for exhibit and 
I think it's definitely worth you guys going and picking up. Like I said, it will be releasing today on the MX Bike Shop for $1.50. And if you're not a part of the Discord, go join the Discord. We're going to start a giveaway on this track on Monday, running until Thursday. So if you want, the, want a chance at a copy of the track, definitely join the Discord. We'll give away 20 copies. Um, and yeah, man. Other than that, smash the like button on the video. Go check out Exhibit's YouTube channel if you have not yet. Um, I'm sure most of you already have if you're watching me because the dude has like 22,000 subs. But other than that, man, hit that sub button and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.